Welcome back to BBN tonight. The women's basketball team is full of personality and they're so fun to watch. Keith talked about one of the biggest pieces to the success, Kiki McKinney. Well, Kiki McKinney, what a fun year it's been already for watching this team. I mean, you guys are loaded and stacked. How much fun has it been playing with all these different ladies that you're playing with? Um, it has been fun all around, all the way around. Um, we have a lot of pieces that came in that we needed um, that made our team a better team. Um, they're all fun. They're all exciting to watch. Um, and I love playing with all of them. For you specifically, you're, you're playing the most minutes on the team. Um, how has that been? And, and obviously it means they're relying on you to be out there on the court for that. Yeah, I actually didn't know that. Um, uh, I do know that I have played more minutes than last year. Granted, I did play a lot, but um, my body definitely feels it this year. Um, it's only been uh, four games in the SEC, but those four games have been very tough. Um, but I mean, I feel like my team has always relied on me, just like I rely on them. Um, it's just something that uh, I have to get done, um, especially, you know, being in shape and everything, being able to actually um, be in and produce with those minutes. So that's something I've been focusing on um, and being really intentional about. Um, but, I mean, we need everybody. So I just happen to get more minutes. All right, so you're playing with what everybody considers the best player in college basketball in Ryan Howard. A, how much fun is that? And B, uh, you know, sometimes when you play with a player like that, you tend to watch them instead of, you know, doing your part. Can you get caught up watching Ryan doing her thing? I always get caught up watching Ryan. It just, it amazes me um, with things that she does because, granted, I've played with Ryan for, what, three years now? Um, and she always does amaze me every game. It's like she pulls something out of her bag that I, I did not know that she had. Um, but yeah, Ryan is a great player, as we all know. It's fun playing with her, especially when she, she likes to get hype and turn up. Um, everybody thinks Ryan is very quiet, but it's like, if you know her, it's the quite opposite. Um, so it's fun playing with her. I love seeing her play, um, especially when I go back and watch film. Um, you just some things that I miss in a game, and I'm like, wow, she really just did this, and it's just crazy. So you kind of talked about this start to the SEC schedule. Uh, I know you'd love to have been 4-0. and I talked to Amber Smith earlier this week. Would you be happy with 2-2 two and two if we told you ahead of time 2-2 two and two is what you were going to be against these four teams? Hey, I mean, I take what we get. Uh, I think everybody would love – anybody would love to be 4-0. Um, but I think we have the toughest schedule in the SEC by playing, you know, all the top teams, and I think we had our own. Um, I think we have to get some of our pieces together, um, but I definitely think we are uh, top team material, um, and it is the beginning of the season. So for us to play this well at the beginning of the season is very exciting um, for us to see how much more we can grow um, and see what we can end. Um, so, yeah, the schedule has been tough. Um, but we are resilient. We always bounce back from the losses. And, and yeah, so it is very exciting. So, uh, you know, I asked you about all the, the pieces that you brought in and, and all the ladies that are around you uh, and the minutes that you've played. And, and so that naturally makes you a leader. And, uh, you know, we kind of talked about this earlier but uh, in the season, but you kind of got caught grabbing up on Robin Benton with her mouth, telling her to hush on a, on a referee. Uh, just talk about that moment a little more and what that was like and, and realizing you got caught after the game into that and, and how the team, you know, does that to each other. Yeah, I mean, so we're in the heat of the moment, and I've been in Robin's shoes to where I'm the one. I feel like it's not a good call, so I'm going crazy, but I actually got ticked up. Um, so me learning and growing through that as a younger player, um, I knew we were, you know, it was, it was, we were up. We didn't need anything going wrong, and, you know, she got a good stop. It was a great stop. We all knew it wasn't a foul. Um, she knew it, but obviously the referees thought differently. Um, so she was going crazy, and I was like, no, ma'am, you're not going to do this. Um, but she was so angry and just, I'm not even angry. It was just an emotional play. So I just grabbed her face and I was like, listen, you, you just got to calm down. He called it and that it is what it is. Um, and LZ has been, Coach LZ has really been hard on us on letting them handle with the officials, like the calls and everything. Um, and I, I guess it just clicked in my mind. It was just, a, I don't know, it just popped in my mind like, all right, 
she has to calm down. She's not going to if somebody doesn't stop her from talking. <laughs> um, but like I said before, we're all close enough to where we are able to do that. Um, Robin is a great player. Um, it was just an emotional play for her. Um, so sometimes you need those people that can just come in and be like, all right, just bring it in. And I'm, I'm definitely one of them. I think I'm comfortable with majority of my teammates, actually all of my teammates, that I feel like I'm able to do that and it won't be no backlash after. We actually laughed at it. Laughed at it after the game because I didn't know it was captured. Kiki, you're one of my favorite Wildcats. Good luck the rest of the way. And thanks for making your debut here on BBN tonight. All right, thank you so much. That's awesome. Big thanks to Kiki for talking with us. We'll keep it rolling with the women's team. The voice of women's basketball, Darren Hedrick, is next on BBN Tonight.